If making friends feels impossible, this is why. There's an actual neurochemical reason behind this. Your brain is looking for oxytocin, which is the trust and connection hormone. According to Dr. Paul Zak, who is the neuroscientist who literally wrote a book on human connection, oxytocin is the foundation for friendship. But most of us have no idea how to trigger it on purpose. Here's how. All right, number one is the neurochemistry mirror. Have you ever noticed how two people who are friends kind of start to act the same way? Same hand gestures, same way of talking. That's not just a friendship vibe. That's oxytocin syncing them up. Here's the wild part when you're trying to make friends. You can fake it to make it. The next time you meet someone new, try to mirror them. Just mirror their posture or the way that they talk subtly. You might feel a little awkward, but your brain will release oxytocin anyway. All right, number two is the overshare that works. Just imagine you're standing in line with someone just waiting for some coffee and you're both kind of awkwardly quiet. Instead of small talk, drop something real. Like, honestly, I don't even know where half my classes are and I'm a freaking junior. That little tiny overshare is basically a brain hack. Vulnerability triggers oxytocin faster than just pretending you've got it all figured out. Most friendships start with one honest sentence. All right, last but not least, shortcut number three is the shared struggle shortcut. Have you ever bonded with someone because you both failed the same exam or got lost at the same event? That's not a coincidence. Your brain remembers shared struggle. Whether it's surviving a group project or getting locked out of your dorm together, shared experiences release more oxytocin than hundreds of chill hangouts. So sign up for things, even the awkward things, especially the awkward things. Most of these moments happen naturally, but they're easy to miss. That's why six exists. It tracks those moments where your brain is actually all in because friends aren't just luck, it's science and connection is something you can practice.